Welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, episode 47, season 2, part 3, Dio's Worlds, part 3. This will be, I guess, the last fight of part, or of this thing. Uh, and then we get the episode 48, which is the end. But anyway, uh, let's do the countdown. Um, 3, 2, 1, go. Again, the playlist is the place to be. Um... We will probably start back up with, uh, season three next, uh, next Tuesday. Jatara, you can fly now? Imagine walking down the street and you see that. The censorship in this is so bizarre. Okay, so... And the amount of time that it took for him to... He killed Old Man Joe. Restarted time. Jotaro crossed the street, threw a punch or two, then they did punchy punchies at each other, and that was enough time for Dio to be able to do it again. Or he opted to. He could have done it earlier. We don't know. Um, let's assume for... I'm going to assume. You guys already know the answer to this because you probably have already seen this series, but like, assuming that that's the case, right? Um... That means that... How long do you think that is in real time? 30 seconds? A minute? It's hard to tell. Like, it's anime time, so it's like... An entire episode could be like... Three minutes of... In... Universe time. Whereas for us, it could be like... 30 minutes to an hour. Especially in, like, other shows. But like... Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, fucking weird. Oh, that's weird. That was cool. I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they did that. Does he have to declare the world stops? Uh, what? So, he literally has the same stand as you. That, that literally is the case. Like, he's just got, like, the same stand as Dio. He just didn't realize he could stop time until Dio was like, hey, I can do this too. And he's like, oh, cool, now I can. Oh, it just pisses him off because he doesn't know. I'm a, I'm a little upset that they just fly now. Like this is Dragon Ball, where that was addressed as a thing they could do.
Uh huh. I mean, that explains the clock aesthetic a lot more. And the stairs. I hate that Dio is that extra. Like, he doesn't have any other abilities. He's just fucking like that. I hate it. I hate that so much. So I wonder how long that was. That was about six or so minutes for us. Almost seven. Like, if you think you got it, just do it, my dude. Throw a knife at him or something. Oh, I see. Huh. <laughs> that was clever. Magnets work when time is stopped? Or he stopped time when you weren't paying attention. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was a good double bluff. Exactly. So is Star Platinum, I mean, oh my god, can you... God, I would hate to be some random just jerk off in this universe. Like, holy fuck. Good grief and useless. So the two phrases I've learned in Japanese since I started this series. He has weird reference points, like a student with the last minutes before the exam or like a flight attendant. When was he like taking tests in school? I guess he was when he was like human. I do like that. I like the way they animated that. Where the fuck is Paul Nerif? I swear to God, if he's the one who defeats Dio. I don't remember, did they give a death sentence to Old Man Joe? They did, right? I know they did it for Kakion, but I don't think they did it for Old Man Joe. They just sort of assumed he was dead. They've done it with every other character.
Where did he get that many You know what? It's Dio. That's where. He just... He just carries a shit ton of knives with him for no fucking reason. What if he stops time? Nope. Okay, never mind. I was like, maybe he can stop time and just move slightly. Like, one second is enough. Oh. Is this really Polnareff's... Bizarre adventure? How are you okay? Oh, of course. Oh, that's dumb. But, you know what? Actually, no. I'm going to allow that. I'm going to allow that because... Well, now that you're moving around, is that's not helpful. Like, it's being clever. I think they literally did this in, like, um... The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. I know they did it in, um... Back to the Future. Where he took a boilerplate. And put it under his shirt, so when he got shot, he'd be fine. It's kind of a trope to use the Bible as a bullet stopper. There's Polnareff. Fucking really? No. No, Polnareff did not just fucking pull that shit. No, that's not enough. Polnareff's fucked now. He doesn't know what's going on, does he? Polnareff has no idea what's going on. Can you throw a knife now?
Yeah, he'll just throw knives again. He's gonna have to just let Paul Nareff die, I guess. But he's too honorable for that shit. So where's all the blood coming from? Oh. Yeah, you think that's gonna work? Seriously. Stand a little farther back. You don't need to be that close with guns. Did you just take a shot like a fucking champ? <laughs> oh no, he's got another... Oh, okay. Oh, right! He could do that! We addressed that! That's a thing! That was important because they did that in the beginning. Neat. Neat. He did that like the first episode, so we know he can do that. There you go. Neat. Okay, cool. Good. Those cops showing up when they did was crucial. Go after him. Get close. Get close. It takes a lot to kill this dude. Just keep going until he's dead. Surely it can heal, but he has to drink blood, right? Oh, I thought you were going to set him on fire. Okay, you are.
Oh, this is gonna fucking be. This is gonna be censored to hell, isn't it? Jotaro just killed someone. He just needs any blood to be able to heal, right? That's how his thing works. <laughs> Why are you there? Did he, though? Oh, shit! I was gonna say, like, he seems pretty down. I don't know how he's getting out of this for us to have another episode out of it. Okay, I'm glad I promised to do all four, because fuck, this would suck ass. Can you imagine if I fucking left you on that shit? Nah. Okay, no. It, it, the next episode's up by now, I'm sure of it. If you're in that playlist, like I said, you should be able to just click into it right now. Uh, but I'll see you there. Bye.